All right, we're back. We're back. You know what I'm saying? We're back. I'm not gonna lie. I did a whole intro, and the footage got corrupted. I'm not gonna lie. I had to restart again. Obviously, I, I didn't get too far. I just like uh, pressed in and then, uh, but I didn't actually do the whole thing. So yeah, I just literally start. So anyway, I have to try and remember what I said in the first part. I said like um. I miss, I miss doing this, I miss doing this, I miss doing uh, this I turn the videos, you know what I'm saying I had, did have a problem with uploading one of the videos um, But hopefully that should be out And we can get to recording Also about the Final Fantasy videos I'm not going to continue them because I was recording with my P, uh, PS5 And I feel it, was, it wasn't good personally For what I said to even upload So um, yeah, I'm just not going to continue them I, Hopefully I get a PC soon So Hopefully I can do more, more stuff. But uh, for now, yeah, we can't really be doing them. <sighs> Very unfortunate, but you know what I'm saying. Um, hopefully in the future, though, you know what I'm saying. Hopefully in the future. But we are back with another video. You know what I'm saying? It's eternity. Eight. Oh my God, I said that again. It's eternity, not eternity. Like, I don't know why I keep saying that. But we're back, you know, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Without any further ado, let's go do that. Let's continue. Alright. February 24, 9.41 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. So what do you think, Mr. Wright? I think the prosecution is as good as good as we are. After all, the victim was murdered in two different places at the same time. And a different suspect was arrested on each of the crime scenes. Lena. Good morning, Miss Wright. I apologize for yesterday. I was in this boat. I hope they didn't hold you for too long for questioning. We just finished actually. I'm used to all nighters though. So how'd it go? It's as Mr. Wright suspects, the police are clueless. I figured as much, so I struck a, um, a plea bargain. A plea bargain? What do you mean by that? I agreed that if I told them the truth behind the simultaneous murder, they would seek capital punishment. That's what I mean by it. But, Lena, don't tell me you... Much to my regret, I'm as much in the dark about, about this as they are. Miss Kai, hmm? We found trace of evidence, uh, a certain p a person in the police department room. They belong to Officer Jake Marshall. What kind of trace evidence? Bloodstained fingerprints, to be exact. Hmm. That's a chump card I have on my sleeve today. Do you understand what this means, though, you? In order to defend my sister, you're going to accuse Mr. Marshall? We have to play the cards we're dealt. Isn't that right, Miss Guy? Hmm. Do what you have to do, Mr. Wright. Okay, I, I think I got to this part. February 24th, 10 a.m. This should call courtroom number nine. And let's go! Courtroom is now in session for the trial of Miss Lena Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is. Hmm. Hmm? I'm afraid you'll have to clarify. It takes 30 minutes by car to reach the police department from the prosecutor's office. Yet the victim, Bruce Goldman, was slowed at both places at the same time. But that's not physically possible, is it? What's um what's more, I hear the victim is uh from the evidence room just disappeared. Yes, and the body eventually uh reappeared in the truck uh in the trunk of Mr. Edward's car. Wow, this is one messed up trial. One of my duties as a prosecutor is to prevent um impartial evidence. Today I will present evidence relating to the murder of the police department. And so, doing, I believe the way in which we should proceed uh, will reveal itself. Now, that's what um, sets Mr. Edwards apart. He sounds on top of things, even though he doesn't know what's going on himself. And that's supposed to be an admirable trait? An admirable trait? Very well. Let the trial resume. We're back in the trial. On the day of the crime, what exactly transpired at the police department? Mr. Edwards, you may call your first witness at the stand. For my first witness, the prosecution calls the suspect of the murder occurred at the police department. The suspect? You mean 
So, hvor så kun mørder? Oh, oh boy. Things are getting wild from the get-go. Will the witness please state his name and occupation? Yes, sir. I am Officer Mike Meekin, sir. My occupation is, um, that would be murderer, sir. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, so you're telling us you're for profession a professional killer? Sir, it was me, sir. I'm the one who did it. I never killed anyone again, sir. You've got to believe me, sir. Oh, actually, uh, what would... Okay, sir. Uh, what would you call part of the younger generation, sir? A person whose actions ad adults can't possibly comprehend. That is true, I'm not gonna lie. That is true, because like, especially now, like, people, like, I'm looking back, like, I'm not even that old myself, but I'm looking back and I'm seeing these younger generations that they're wilding. Please visit Edward, sir. Help me, sir. Officer Meekins? Y yes sir? Give us your report on the on the, of the crime. Consider that an order. Hey, yes sir, as you wish. After all, I am part of a generation that must be told uh, what to do sir. You can't fault him for the lack of enthusiasm. Uh, let's see what he's saying. I, I need to like remind myself of some of the stuff. Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. Okay, let me see the... The stuff we, oh yeah we got a lot of stuff don't we <laughs> oh my god okay okay it's about to be a long trial it's about to be a long trial okay i spotted the suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room i was only doing what i was trained to do sir i was suddenly attacked i fought for my life then i did it after that, I passed out until another officer smacked me awake. Hmm. So the victim, Detective Goodman, attacked you? Uh, do unto the others before they do unto you. That's what Meekin's family motto, sir. I see. Then you fainted and a colleague helped you regain consciousness. Yes, sir. He knocked me upside the head, sir. But if he knocked you out, how did you kill him? That makes no sense. Very well. The defense uh, may be good in the question of the what I need, What I need here is more info to work with here. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, press them. Crime report, sir. Cross them in the okay. Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to the guard. Uh, Evan, sorry. Hold it. Mr. Meekins, you work in the General Affairs Department, do you not? Yes, sir. I'm in charge of hiring new recruits. Sir? Yikes. Now that's the scary four. Evidence transfers was taking place on the day of the crime, which meant many officers was given special tasks not already performed. I was in charge of guarding the Blue Badger, sir. Blue Badger? Yes, sir. The lovely pl police mascot created by the, um, the chief of police, sir. Oh, boy. I was assured it wasn't broken during the uh, transfer progress. That was my sole mission for the... Um, for the day, sir. Then why would you in the uh, thing room? I see. Sounds like a very uh, important mission. Yeah. After uh, the war set me fishing that day, there were so many people running around that I relocated uh, the blue badger to the evidence room. Oh, so that's why you went to the evidence room. Tell us, what did you see when you got to the, when you got there? I spotted the suspicious man on the uh, security screen and rushed into the room, okay? In order to enter the evidence room, you need a, an, an ID card, am I correct? Precisely, sir. I have one right here around my neck. So then, your ID should be listed on here, right? Okay. There it is! I found it! This is the one right here! Could you please read the us number? Yes, sir. It's 498956. That's my number, sir. I see. Huh? But the number... It shows it's been used twice. Wait. Yo. So he... Hmm. 
Please explain, witness. It's no real mystery, sir. For the first time when I really could, uh, when I relocated the blue badge out to the evidence room, and the second time is when I went um to to go get him after everything settled down. I see. So it was during the second time when, yes, sir. That that was when I spotted the man on the security screen. Data ID card, okay, okay, okay. I was only doing what I was trained to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked. Okay, hold up. So you were attacked. Can you please tell us exactly what happened to you? It was a knife, sir. A knife. Detective Goodman pulled a knife on you. What happened then? Well, with the uh, charging in in on him, we're charging charging in on him, like that. He looks um, surprised as I was. So you aren't exactly the kind of person someone would want to run into. That's when I reacted, sir. I swung my arms like an octopus, struggling to detain him. That's how I got um, this gash on my hand. Maybe if you would keep your cool, your hand wouldn't be. When I saw him, the blood uh, trickling down my arm, I panicked. I grabbed the man by his collar. I fought for my life. Then I, then I did it. What did you do? What exactly do you mean when you say you did it? I know, but I know I don't look the type, but I'm really into kung fu films, sir. The man let his guard down for just an instant, so I snatched the life from behind. So he really took his knife. I spun around, um, I spun him around and performed a disarming man maneuver. I made sure to close my eyes like a, close my eyes like a man. Wait a sec, if you close your eyes, wouldn't? Okay. I uh see he must have been desperate. The next thing I knew, his white coat was drenched in a sea of blood, and then, then the next thing I knew, yes, he punched me right in in my face, sir. Damn. After that, I passed out until another officer got smashed. Okay, hold it. About what time did you regain consciousness? No office, offense, sir, but how am I supposed to know what um know that I was unconscious? Oh, right. According to the report from the officer that woke up the witness, it was about 5:30. He hit me right in the head too. I woke up crying in tears of pain. That's nice. Uh, I mean, it's nice that you recovered, that is. When I came around, though, I made sure to finish my mission, sir. Your mission? Yes, sir. The blue badger, sir. I returned him to the um, to the entrance before the things got got out of hand. Well, we can all rest easy now. I believe we have a fairly accurate picture of what happened. Yes, your honor. Only one thing that remains unclear. Was the man this officer murdered really the victim? He's got a point. Um, yes, Officer Meekins. With regard to that, sir. Take a look at this. It was sent to my jail cell. Chief Grant delivered it to um to me this morning. The chief delivered it. What is that? A videotape? Yes, sir. That's absolutely right. A videotape, sir. It contains footage from the security camera on the evidence room. In the evidence room. Objection. What? But I specifically asked if there was was um, such a tape and was told it had been mistakenly erased. That's quite a mistake. I just do what I'm told, sir. That's the only thing I'm really good at. Looks like a communication with the police department is as good as ever. Well then, let's have a look at this. Show the videotape of the murdering of the victim. Oh, please stop uh, using that word murder. Murder? Yeah, murder, sir. It scares me. A videotape of a real murder. Just what am I getting on myself? Mm hmm. Okay, the time was 7, uh, I mean 5.14, right? Yo! So he didn't murder it then? It's 
So he didn't murder her. Okay. Oh, that's when he came in. Okay. Damn. Damn, he got he got slung, bro. Where the guy go? Hmm. Uh. Uh. <laughs> well, I believe we're all thinking the same thing here. How can we deal with these unsettling feelings stirred within us? What the hell was that uh, wrinkling piece of plywood? Sir, that's the pride and joy of the entire, um, crim entire criminal affairs department, sir. It was the blue badger, sir. Why am I not surprised? This is go this is going to go soon. Okay. Yes. Well. Anyways, this team seems to prove that the witness did indeed encounter uh someone, but the ev but in the ev in the evidence room and some sort of. Your Honor. Instead of replying on clearly incomplete footage, the witness testimony will suffice. Is that alright with you, Officer Meekins? Yes, sir. As you wish, sir. Okay. Mystery man. His face can't clearly be seen in the video. But there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. I mean, he opened the locker. Which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do so. To do. The locker he opened is unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir. So it means, uh, so it must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. What is uh, this about a fingerprint? Each detective had been given a locker, equipped with a fingerprint activ activated lock. These lock ensure that each locker have, um, can only be opened by the detective it belongs to. Intriguing. That would mean the victim of a crime scene would have had um, to be in Detective Goodman. Very well. Your defense, uh, the defense may cross the line. I don't know where this cross the line will leave, but everything begins with the contradictions. That's where I have to start. Okay. Okay, so, okay, one thing I'm, okay, let's look at my evidence real quick, right? If Edward came in, uh, full, okay, so he came in 512, then who was the person that was killed? Uh, this still doesn't make sense, I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, let's question. Hold it. Tell me where you was able to get a good look at him. At his face of the man who touched with the knife. Sir, if you must label people as haven't seen or not seen the man's face I believe I would have classified as the latter the latter but you were standing right in front of him were you not more to the point you're the person who fought him aren't you oh yes sir but I didn't get a clean a clear look at his face sir I'm not that kind of guy who looks directly at people when talking to them you see yeah that's a good trait for a police officer. Still, I'm not sure it was him. I bet my badge on it. But there's no question that the other person was to catch a good one, sir. Hold it. But you don't know that for sure, don't you? You never actually saw the um, detective Goodman's face. Well, I suppose you might say that. That is, if you must label people as haven't. Okay, I'm not seen. Since you haven't. Since his face can't be identified in the video, only you can verify it. W why is everyone looking at me? If I had to label uh, your stares or as disturbing or... <coughs> Meekins! <coughs> Having been shown a, a questionable video at best, we are not in the best of moods. Now please be more certain when you testify. Y yes sir! You claim the man uh, who... Brand, uh, brandishing a knife on you was the Bruce Goodman. Tell us why you are positive it was him. I mean, he opened his locker, which, okay. 
Okay. About one of these lockers. Is it no other way to open them? No, sir. I, I myself tried all kinds of methods in the park. The only response to regi um, registered fingerprints, sir. I wonder what kind of methods he tried. If a man opened the locker's lock, which was only uh, respond to his, his registration registered footprints, then he must be the person of the locker he was assigned to. Exactly my point, sir. And this too. The locker he opened is question, question, unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker. So it must. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me uh. uh yeah, let me go on. How do you know that was? How do you know that information? I have. I heard rumors, sir, from people in the known, sir. People in the known. The workers in the apartment cafeteria, sir. They keep being informed. They also listen into my romantic trouble, sir. Uh. For the record, but uh, open locker did indeed belong to Detective Goodman. I verified this information through a more reliable source. Hmm. So the victim opened the, lock the locker with his own fingerprints. So he must be him. No one else, sir. Okay, hold it. However, the most important detail is not shown in the video. The man's face, sir. If I may say something, sir. Please do. After all, you are the only one being cross-examined. I don't understand why the man's face is so important in this case, sir. I mean, it was his hand that opened the fingerprint locker. And it was his hand that tried to thrust the knife into my body, sir. My unsettled state can testify enough to this, sir. Yes, you have a point. The footage doesn't lie. That is... Unless the defense can find a problem with it. Mr. Wright, let's check the court, court records again. There might be a problem with the video. Okay. There's a problem. Regarding the video com um, contained of this, on this tape, there's one thing that's particularly that seems rather strange. Strange? The contradiction leads to poss um, the possibility that. The man may not have been Detective Goodman! What? This video contains such a contradiction. Objection! Interesting. Your Honor, I have a proposal. Yes, Mr. Edward, I propose that we have the defense point out to us the alleged contradiction in this video. He would uh, want me to point it out? Okay, one thing is right, it was lock the, lock the locker to the left, right? had like it wasn't like like that and then it was like okay 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 very well proposal let's uh this piece of evidence i will now play the security tape okay mr right please show the contradiction you speak of i have to point out um the problem in the video this is the first time i've ever had to do this you can do it mr right it's set up um so you can fast forward rewind and pause okay just like okay okay please don't play it too many times i can't stand watching the video how did this guy ever become a police officer? Now, now, Mr. Now then, Mr. Wright, please enlighten us. Where is the contradiction that um, indicates? Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, let me let me rewind. Okay, 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 okay. You see this over here, right? It never had the little line thing, right? Okay. Okay, let's fast forward. Okay, then that happened. Bala boom. Okay, then he walked in. I don't know how he opened the locker door. Okay, you came in afterwards. Damn! Damn! Okay. Did he go behind the camera? I'm so confused. Okay, here, here, here. Let's press, let me present, let me present, let me present right here. No! I was meant to- Oh, okay. Hold up. Okay, let's pause it. And then, uh, let's fast forward. And then pause it. And then present. Okay. Okay, he dropped it. Bam. He runs in. Bam, he fights. Okay, because we're like, yeah, how did he open the locker, right? Okay, let's pause it. Let's pause it. Here. Yeah, there we go. The thing that's strange about this video 
has got to be this. Hmm? Yes, that is strange. Something certainly seems unnatural about that. What could it uh, mean? Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Wright, but you seem to have forgotten the point of its exercise. The point? What are you looking um, for is one thing and one thing only. Something that indicates that this man may not be Detective Goodman. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because how do you open the locker? Whew. I almost walked him right into the fence trap. I I'll place him on the arrest, sir. Rats. I need to slow down and tackle things at one time. Now, what do I do? Uh, play the video again. Very well. Every time you point out a finger, it gets hurt. Saves the one point at us. I will play the video after security. Mr. Right, please show us the contradiction you speak of. Was that not a con- Hey, no way, bro. Okay. I, 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 okay, I'm confused. Was that not the contra a contradiction in the video? Because how did he open the locker? If that's if that's Meekins, right? I mean, not Meekins. If that the detective Goodman, how did he open the locker to the left? I just got, okay. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Oh, shit, low battery. Um, yeah, let me fast forward. Because how do you open the... Okay. What the hell dropped out? Hmm. Damn, wait, hold on. Uh, yeah! Oh yeah, but wait, why didn't he close the locker? Let me press that. Take that. The thing that's strange in about the video would have to be uh, this. Hold on a second. I need to use my eye jobs. Well, I don't get it. Uh, well, if you don't mind, if I borrowed the eye medicine. Before your eyes get too teary, perhaps you should think. Okay. Yo, play. Ugh. Okay, I thought that was it. I thought that was it. Nah, they got me. They got me. At least I'm not using life for this. <laughs> At least I'm not using life. Okay. Okay, we have to get something in this video. There has to be something in this video. There has to be something. A contradiction in the video. A contradiction. That what though? What's there a contradiction to? The handprints? Ooh, wait. Where, where, where did the handprints come from? Wasn't there handprints in there? Hold on. Uh, let me fast forward. Yeah, wasn't there handprints? Oh, yeah, wasn't there handprints? Okay, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, okay, so this one. Okay. Let me play and play and play. Okay, I'm trying to see this again. Okay, so he opens it. The thing drops out, right? Okay. Who? Who? Okay. Okay. Wait. 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 Let me pause it. Who this? Is it? Is it the person? The thing is, okay, nah. Okay. Play the video again. Okay. Okay, let's let's try to get this. Let's try to get this. Let's try to get this. <laughs> okay, what? I'm trying to see the contradiction, right? Let me walk around for a sec. Okay. Is it the locker? Cause. Is it the locker? Or maybe. The thing that's strange. Okay. Alright, okay. Let's play again. Let's, let's see. Let's see if we can get a contradiction out of this. Okay, cause I'm I'm confused out here. Okay, so he walks in. Wait, hold on. Let's check the blue badger real quick. Okay, blue badger good. Blue badger good. Okay. Okay. Guy walks in. Guy walks in. Guy walks in. Wait, hold on. Let's uh, let's pause it. Show my call because we're quick. Okay, we have the ID cards who entered. Yeah. Okay. 
Hmm. A contradiction that that he's not Bruce Goodman. That's what I'm trying to see. That's the thing. I thought it was like the um. Okay, but like, why is he fighting though? I don't. I don't get. It. Damn. Is it like the blood? Kavu, it has to be something to, to do with his locker, right? Damn, he slumped, bro. Okay. Because when we look back, here, right? When we look back over here, we see the locker, right? So if you like, I thought it was this because how did this get here? It's a uh, percent. Let's try online. That's what this is. I don't know. Maybe I just got it wrong. Which thing? Alright. Yeah. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's try and see. Let's try and see. Let's try and see. You can do this, alright? Yeah, I can. Okay, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do it. Hmm. Okay, let me look. What if something was inserted, say, between the sensor and the door? Inserted? Yeah, because oh, we wouldn't know. That's why it was open. 
Okay. Ba na ma na ma 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 na ma na ma 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 ma. The white thing wasn't inside the locker. It was stuck between the door and the, and the sensor. Oh, I understand now, sir. Two out of the three times they get stuck in the door. Uh, when I get out of my Pachovia, so. Instead of a door closed, okay. But the object would have been extremely thin to fit in the door. Not only that, it would also have to block electrical currents. It would need to be an insulator. Yes, an insulator, but at the crime scene, there just might have been something that fits the description. Sir, by the incident, I think I finally got it figured out. Very well. With the pins, please pretend relevant entrance. What's the insulator that was stuck in the door? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. No, no, no. Evidence uh, from past case. Okay, no. The glove? Okay, so I don't think it's this. It, it might be the glove. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the glove because the glove can like block stuff, right? Alright, let's go. Take this. I found this near the locker. A thin rubber glove, but we can't be sure if that was in the victim's locker. It has a tag that says SL9 incident. Hmm. The video seems to depict the victim opening the locker, but that isn't the case. Uh, the 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 lit lamp asserts to this. On the day of the crime, even I could have opened the locker. Is that not, um, not so, Officer Meekins? Sir! It would appear so, sir! Order, order, order! So we are uh, to believe then that the victim whom the witness stabbed in the evidence room was not Detective Gordon? Do you, uh... Do not be misled, misled your honor. What do you mean by Mr. Mr. Edwin? The defense has merely demolished the possibility and nothing more. The victim in the video was st indeed Bruce Goodman. The prosecution will offer one more testament to prove this. What? Officer Meekins, t um, please testify about this. Sir, me, I'm not sure what you're referring to, sir. Oh, you mean that? So of course, sir. This is a joke. Very well, begin your testimony. Okay, let's go. Mystery Man 2. There's one other thing that proved that detective, um, the man was Detective Goodman, sir. To enter the evidence room, you must use their ID card. When the ID card is used, there's a record of it. At the time of the crime, the detective had used his, his card. The ID card record, I see. I have the, I have the ID card record right here, Your Honor. Mm-hmm, okay. Ah, uh, the ID card that was uh, at the victim. Yo, but how did the... Okay, here's the thing. How did the ID card get to the scene of the crime, though? Without a doubt. However, one thing does strike her unusual. Several hundred cases should have been uh, due to transfer. Why are there so few people using this room? This particular evidence room can is only being used for storing certain special cases. Special cases? Extremely, extremely violent cases involving police stuff. Just hearing that makes me, um, my hair strands on air. Me too, although it doesn't, uh, make much of a distance, yeah. Okay. Yeah, my hair, my hair kind of looking at his, I'm not gonna lie, my hair getting a bit, getting a bit spiky, but. But there was a few cases for, uh, transfer in here, transfer here, and most were cleared up by noon, right? I see. Now let's move on to the cross-examination. I missed you, man. Two. There's a, one other thing that proves it. Okay, hold it. So, unlike you, your um, earlier testimony, you believe this 
to be rock solid, do you? Yes, sir. Solid as stone, sir. If my hand wasn't wrapped in bandages, I'll give a V for victory sign, sir. Couldn't he just use his right hand for that? Let's hear him out fully. We've seen one, uh, one never knows what he might say until the last second. Okay, okay, true, true, true. Okay. Hold it. Is that card hanging from the, um, from the neck on the ID card? Yes, sir. The card right next to my cuff, sir. Uh, I keep it here so I won't forget. But what if someone were to steal it from you, keeping it um, out, out in the open like that? Maybe I should have, I shouldn't uh, wear it around my neck. Remember when I said, I said, I said two out of three times it might get stuck uh, when I'm at my car. Well, the remaining times my ID card gets stuck. Instead of the door closing, my ID card chokes. Okay, maybe I should just leave this one alone. At any rate, each police officer has only one ID card. Both the police department and the professional uh, prosecutor's office can only attest to this. Please proceed with your testimony. When the ID card is used, there's a record of it. True. Okay. Hold it. Let it be noted that this is the record of the witness referred to. Let me see. Yes, that will mean Detective Goodman. What's the matter? According to this, Ed, Mr. Edworth, your name is on here. Wait, let me see that. Let me see that real quick. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. at four forty. Yeah, what was he doing here? Wait, 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 wait. wait. If he was there at four forty, it takes 20, 30 minutes to get between there and the prosecutor's office. He got the app, so the, so he was there for like two minutes. <laughs> So it is your honor. Not the prosecutor again. Mommy, is that man a, in blue a murderer? Shh, don't stare at him. You've got to be wrong color, kid. It would seem the um, inquiry committee will want to speak with you again today. I have nothing to be ashamed of regarding my actions or their consequences. But now let's continue with the cross-examination. Poor Mr. Edward, it must be difficult for him. At any time of um, at the time of the crime, the detective could have used his card. Hold it. Earlier, I believe you testified that uh, when you asked the man for the, to show his ID card, he pulled a knife on you. Yes, sir. He didn't show me his any ID card, sir. Don't you think that's odd? But ma I mean, if he had his ID card, all all he had to do was show it to you. That would um there wouldn't be any reason to draw a knife. Uh, maybe he just panicked. Everything stems from contradictions. Let's, let's put them out. Let's arrive. What do you think? I'm confused. What? The problem is, uh, the problem with the ID card testimony is far too obvious. It's not like it's not like Edward to miss something like this. You're thinking too hard about it. Come on, let's just show where we go. Okay, here's my thing, right? He didn't see the ID card, and we found it at, um, at the prosecutor's office, right? So how? So how could it be um, at the same time, right? Well, not the same time, but the murder happened at like the, around the time. So that means someone had to like, okay, this is okay. This is so confusing, right? This is real confusion. Let's uh, let's. Hmm. So I'm gonna. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Record of it. I've a, I've a time to come this. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna present this right. Objection! Objection. Yes. Okay. Go right. Oh my God. Wait a minute, Officer Minkins. I, I'm not good with waiting, sir. I have the victim's ID card right here. I found it at the crime scene. That makes sense. No, no, no. When I say crime scene, I'm ref I'm not referring to the evidence room at the police department. I mean the other crime scene. The underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. That's what I'm saying. Your Honor, Edward, come on now. Actually, wait. It couldn't have been Edward because this is so confusing. Unless someone dropped it there. Like, unless someone dropped it there. Jake Marshall, bro. I'm looking at you, right? You, you were there at the crime scene, bro. 
Jacob Marshall, I'm looking at you. Because, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Let, let me lie, let me lie, let me lie, right? Because they used it at 514, but the, the crime took place at 514 in the other place. They would have to make, they would have to get there, to get there, they would have to take 30 minutes, right? So, if it couldn't have been, he couldn't have had it, he couldn't, um, Bruce Goodman couldn't have had it at the crime scene of the parking lot, right? Because, um, if he had it, then, uh, he would have, like, if he, okay, let me, okay, I feel like I'm worth it. Okay, so if he had it at the parking lot, then he wouldn't have been able to get into the, um, evidence room, right? But if he had it in the evidence room, then that means someone went in the evidence room and then went all the way to the crime scene to drop it off there. Which Jake Marshall was there at the crime scene when we got there. So he could have just like, you know, slid it there, you know, drop, drop it there. And okay, yeah. It's a very important clue regarding the victim's ID card. A lost item report? It's only half completed. But it shows that Detective Goodman has lost something on the day of the crime. Something important enough to fill out this report. Let me guess. You believe this something to be the ID card, right? I can't say for sure, but there's a high probability. On the day of the crime, Detective Goodman was not carrying his card. Order, order. So now, what does this mean? Well, man, it can only mean one thing. It doesn't um, even require much thought. A man Officer Meekins account in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman, but rather the man who stole his ID card. Order, order, order. Does the prosecution have a response? I only don't, um, I only one thing to say to the defense. Hmm? Bravo, Mr. Wright. Bravo. Allow me to summarize the defense argument. At 5.15 on the day of the crime, the man in the evidence room, Officer Meekins, encountered, uh, was detected, uh, not detected, there are two grounds to the supporters. First, the locker in the evidence room was already unlocked. Second, the victim lost his ID card. Am I correct so far, Mr. Wright? Yes. What is he up to? That being the case, we must inevitably arrive at a single conclusion. If a victim in the in the video is fake, is a fake, then the murderer in the evidence room is also fake. In other words, the security camera did not show the instant of the murder. Oh, that is well, I guess that's right. Is something wrong, Mr. White? Only moments ago you seem uh, content to point in your finger around. This isn't going to end well. <laughs> well, well. It seems you finally realise exactly what you've gone um, to such length to prove. Explain yourself, Mr. Edward. The defence has already done the explaining for me. The victim in the video is a fake, which means a murder did not take place. But the police department at 5.15 on the day of the crime. So... So the real crime could only take place in at one location, but underground parking lot at, at the prosecutor's office. The murderer being Miss Lena Sky, the defendant. Mm. The evidence is compelling. A trustworthy witness observed the moment of the defendant used the murder weapon. Uh. Yeah, because that's the real thing what we're getting at. I knew the testimony was way too shabby. It was all trapped from the beginning. The activity in the evidence room uh, still leaves many questions unanswered. Who exactly was the victim Officer Meekins encountered? And where did this person disappear to? However, this trial uh, purpose is to examine only the murder of the um, Detective Goodman. That's what I'm saying. Uh, just so, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, you have to do something, Olena. What would what I do? How am I supposed to get out of this? Uh, okay. Object. Let's go. Objection. One moment, Your Honor. Okay, let's see what we have. What now, Mr. Wright? Don't tell me you're objecting to what you've just proven. No, no, no. Of course not. 
but I'm, I almost walked right into the prosecutor's trap. What are you talking about? That, this cross-examination has proven one thing and one thing only. The security video did not show the actual murder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was no there was no murder here, right? But how did the um the blood scenes get there, right? I'm so confused with that. However, it cannot be said that it is unrelated to the um, murder at the parking lot. Mm, specifically, large amounts of blood traces were found in the evidence room. Hmm. But the defense demands further examination into the truth of the matter. Mr. Edward? Yes, Your Honor? If this court were to examine this further, other witnesses will be necessary. Is the prosecution prepared? I'm sorry, Your Honor. The prosecutor considered the incident at the police department to be unrelated. We have not prepared for any other witness for this incident. Hmm, this just might be the, my chance. Time to call a certain Texas Ranger to the stand. Mr. Wright, do you mean, Your Honor? The defense would like to call, um, would like to request a specific witness. Oh, who do you have in mind? Jake Marshall. Someone will be able to, okay, the truth behind the activities that took place in the evidence room. But prosecutor requests to hear the person's name before deciding whether or not to com comply. Very well then, Mr. Wright. This person who would have testified. Testified. Okay, what is his or her's name? Yeah, yeah get this, get this man. Jake Marshall, you're on the chopping block now, bro. Officer Jake Marshall. Why him? I can't let Edward know everything just yet. He's in charge of the evidence of the evidence room. I feel like we should um, hear what he has to say. The prosecution agrees to defense request. Since uh, he was responsible for guarding the room, we should hear his testimony. Fortunately, he works in the police department. We shouldn't um, need longer than 20 minutes to prepare. Very well. The court will take a 30 minute recess while the witness is uh, support. Will the prosecution please prepare the witness at the time? We will, Your Honor. Court is now in recess. Oh boy. February 24th, 30, um, 11.32am, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. There's, uh, there's no stopping you, is there, Mr. Ryan? What do you mean? You called for Jake Marshall. It seems you're figured everything out. I haven't figured anything out. Lena, you're the one who knows everything. Um, Emma, you always know everything. Why don't you just tell us? Mr. Wright is trying to his hardest to protect you. I, I don't recall ever asking for his protection. How can you be so cold? Don't you trust us? Don't you trust me? Hold about my interruption ed interrupting anything, powers. Oh, uh, guess I am. I'll come back later. Wait to set to gum shoot. What is it? You've got a lot of nerve, pal. Making a set to run all, all, all around the city while I'm on duty. And on top of it, uh. You call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. Sorry, detective. You better be, pal. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. I didn't see you there. Uh, Chief Protector Sky. That's okay. So, have you brought what I asked? Oh. Oh, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. You mean this, right? My apologies, Detective Gumshoot. Detective, do. Uh, to my presence, to the circumstances. I was forced to use Mr. Wright's name. When making my request, my name. Never in a, in a million would I have thought it was you who asked me. Could I uh, bother you to bring me something about uh, SNI incident files? I'll need them by noon. Talk about crazy. The SNI incident? But Lena, that's. 
I put Mr. Right. Might need them, so I brought so I brought them here. You might do well to read them. I can't believe uh Chief Oscar was Well witness in this case. Let's go ahead. Was a witness? Uh friend from the sky. That's it. Uh take it from me. Why don't you um want anything to do with the serial matters? Oh what? Now you now I bought you stuff. You're just gonna annoy me? Emma. But why? Why is your name here? What? My name's in there. I don't know. Unless. No, it couldn't be. Lena, this SR9 incident, is that? That's the um, classification number the police uh, filled it with. Under two, two years ago, the rest of the world knew as Joe Dark, Darky Killings. But Joe Darky? No, no, Lena. That's over with. No. Emma, wait. She ran away. Um, you know what? I just remembered. I gotta go somewhere. Sorry, pal. But I'm out here. Jake Marshall. Angel Star. Uh, Demon, Demon Grad. Miles Edworth. Not to mention Lena and Emma. Everyone involved in this, in this case connections into those killers two years ago. This can't be just a coincidence. No, um, knowing you, you just might be able to figure it out. Time to get back at the trial, Mr. Wright. Best of luck. I better take a good look at these vows. Oh, boy. Like, what's going on? I'm, I'm so confused. Who's the killer? Jake Marshall. It's, it's going to be one of them connected, right? But why? The Tita Goodman did. Maybe he killed himself or something? Trying to get revenge on Lena or, you know what I'm saying? Or something. I, I, I don't really know. But I guess we'll just find out in the next episode. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hope you liked the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, Trike out.